Hello. Welcome to week four. As you can see, I am relaxing here in my recliner, in my easy chair. This chair is an important place for me. Uh, it's a place where I do a lot of writing, I do a lot of reading, do a lot of resting, uh, do some praying, uh, and I've uh, uh, enjoyed coming to this place at the end of this very long day. I probably look a little tired because it has been a long day for me. I hope you have a place like this where you can pull away and pray and read and uh, concentrate, think. Uh, and the most important thing I read in this chair is the Bible. And for Christians, the Bible is uh, a source or uh, the revelation of God, uh, the source of authority for us, a key source of authority for us, the key source of authority, especially for us in the Protestant tradition. Uh, however, the Bible uh, invites us to utilize certain tools to help us understand it, to interpret it, and to apply it. Uh, these tools include tradition, uh, reason, and experience, the so-called quadrilateral, the four parts, uh, scripture, tradition, reason, experience. We're going to take a look at that this week and how that affects our approach to the Bible and how the Bible and those other sources that help us uh, aid us in making ethical decisions. Uh, so we're going to take a look at that in week three. Week four will be centered on some key themes in the Bible itself. So we'll do a little more biblical ethics in week four. But week three, we're going to just kind of introduce ourselves again to these sources. I hope you enjoy your week. God bless.